How was your day, son? It was pretty good. I had basketball PE today. Oh, did you know that your father used to play basketball back in the day? Yeah, I believe I've been told that many times. Speaking of basketball reminds me of a wonderful story of how your mother and I met. It's such a wonderful story. Oh, great. So, it was after school, and I was shooting hoops with my coach. Excuse me? Yes? According to my calculations, you have approximately a 90% chance of... Um, excuse me, 90%? Stop exaggerating. Honey. No, don't honey me. I will tell the real story from now on. Uh, according to my calculations, you have a 70% chance of making each two-pointer shot and a... Um, a 40% chance of making each three-pointer shot. And so let's say you want to make 20 points in a game and you have 10 shots. And five of those shots are two-pointer shots and five of those shots are three-pointer shots. Now, based on your statistical averages, you would have a 4.9% chance of making each of those shots. Kobe! Get back to work! I have a lot of practice to do. Go to the two-pointer shot right now! Shoot! How do you not make that? That is an easy shot. How did you not make that? Oh, if I might add, he only has a 40% chance of making each um, three-pointer shot. Make it higher! More! I just found that out. Oh, well, so you just use Kobe's shooting averages to calculate the probability. By observing Colby's shooting, I know that he has a 70% average for two-point shots, or 0.7 in decimals, and 40% average for three-point shots, or 0.4 in decimals. Then we also need to know how many different options he has to score 20 points in a game. Since we know that he will take five two-pointers and five three-pointers, let's see how many options he has to score 20 points or more. Well, he could make all of his shots, and that would score 25 points, or he could make all of the two-pointers and four of the three-pointers, which would be 22 points. Or he could score four of the two-pointers and five of the three-pointers, which would be 23 points. Another option would be three two-pointers and five three-pointers, which would be 21 points. And he could score four of each for 20 points. All of the combination of shots could not score 20 points or more. So now we need to figure out the probability of each option. So, in the first option, he scores five two-point shots. Each of the two-point shots has an individual probability of 0.7 based on his shooting average. There is only one way to make all five shots, so there's only one combination or order of shots he can make. In this option, he also makes all five three-point shots. Based on his shooting average, the individual probability of each shot he makes is 0.4, and there's only one combination of ways he can do this. To figure out the combined probability, we multiply all these numbers together. We then repeat this for each option he has to score 20 points, using his average for the shots he makes and the shots he misses. The number of combinations is based upon the different ways he can score the baskets. Once we have figured the probability for each option, we simply add them together. The calculation tells us Colby has a 4.9% chance of scoring 20 points. There's actually a formula for this called the binomial probability formula, but I think it's easier to understand using the logic we discussed. So Jacob, your mother told me I had around a 4.9 chance of scoring 20 points. So in my next game, I went off the court to prove her wrong, and I did just that, scoring 20 points. And that was how I fell in love with your mother, and that was how she got involved. Too. Oh yeah, this is just another wonderful story. Oh yes, it was a wonderful story. No, it's a, no, I'm telling it. I'm telling it this time. No, not again. <laughs>